Hi guys, back again. This is part three of um, the Roldies clutch system, putting it together and how to operate it. Um, if you've watched my other videos uh, on this, I've shown you how to put these brackets on. And the final step now is I've got all my lift cords. I need to tie the knots on them and, um, and then we'll show you how to operate it. But I'm also I'm going to grab this uh, camera for a second. I'm going to I want you to see exactly how each one of these strings are lined up and how the shift brackets are put on. So let me bring this over. Okay, so over here we've got our clutch right here. And this should be all the way back like it is. You'll see there's my first screw eye and my string fouls comes through um, this first one, whoops, sorry, comes along, there's my screw eye, and it comes up into here, and you see there's my knot on this side. So that's my, that's my first one. Then my second, let me pull this back for a second, um, I brought my string up here, and it goes along here, follows up, all the way up into here, comes through that hole, and there's a second location. And if you notice, they're always to the right of the bracket. And there's my knot right there. Okay, so that's that first. That's your, my actually my second one. This is my first one right here. That's how that's to the right of the screw eye. We come over to here. It's following the same procedure. It's it's uh, to the right of the shift bracket. And that's my next one. Same deal. The knot is on this side because this is going to be lifting here. So you want to make sure that the knot is on this side of it. Now this one is my end. And let me follow this down for you. This is the very end string. You follow it all the way up. And it goes through this screw eye. And if you notice, they're lined up with each one of these rings. Comes across, goes underneath this shift bracket. Comes down. And um, again, the knot is over on this side of it. And... Um, and that's the location of the screw eye. The cord clip is to the right of the screw eye, just like the other one. And this one is the same deal. Um, it's to the right of the shift bracket. So that's how the whole thing is put together. And um, you also want to make sure before you start doing, you want to make sure this clutch has not slipped over. This clutch can, let me move it over. You see how that moves? You want to make sure you're there, all the way over there. And you also want to make sure that you can see there's the flute right here. That this right here and uh, the cord clip is all lined up with the flute. Everything's lined up with that flute going across. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and we're going to tie our bottom rings here. Starting with the first one. Now, what you want to do is you want to make sure you have tension. It's important to keep tension on this as you're doing it. And you want to make sure that that bottom ring is up just the way I have it and you want to put three knots in here and then right after you tie it you want to make sure you put a dab of glue, hot glue to keep that and if you have a bottom ring like this you want to put a little glue on that just from keeping it from slipping now we're going to go ahead we're going to do all of them Like so. And you don't want to cut off the excess string that I have on here until you're sure that the shade's going to operate correctly. And I'm keeping that tension on that string. You want to make sure that these, all these rings are going up and they're taut. You're not hanging down like that loose when you're tying your knots.
then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to finish gluing each one of these. Very important to put the glue on. If you don't, that'll just unravel real quickly. As a matter of fact, the first time you bring it up and back down, I guarantee you these will be loose if you don't glue them. Now, I'm going to wait for that to... And I'm going to move this so you can see the whole thing. Let me set you back up over here. Make sure these are cool. Okay. Now we're going to go ahead and lift it up. What you're looking at here is the back side of a soft bolt shape. Okay, I'm going to show you what this looks like up close. If you've done it properly, you'll see how these have wound up really nicely on each one. Just like that. And what I was talking to you about before cutting this shaft bar seven inches um, shorter and you can see where the clutch has moved over so and and everything's lined up and as you bring it down that clutch will move back into the position it, it began at see how it's moving right back to where it was okay now we're right back to where these are now you can make adjustments on these these clips if you find your shade is crooked um, you, you can just move these if, if, if it's a little off like uh, on the left hand side or the right hand side you can move these clips towards or, or closer to, to get your desired uh, a length back and every once in a while after you've done this these this is a nylon cord so it'll stretch so you may have to readjust them and the way you're going to readjust them is you're going to move them away from the shift bracket to tighten them up again. And also, if you forgot to tighten up um, the lower knots like I did, um, then you can adjust the, these by just pulling on it uh, away from the clutch, and that'll tighten it back up. Um, you also notice on this shade, I have these little um, little guys here. And these are what I call shade ears, and all they're there for is to hide the clutch. So, and this is an outside mount. So when I mount when I mount this to the wall, this little ear right here I call will will cover this clutch, so you don't see it from a side view. Uh, just in case you're wondering. Anyhow, that's what it looks like. And um, good luck with your projects. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to send me an email. Thanks for watching. Scott Weaver, Factory Drink Window Treatments.